Okay, um, I'm here at a place called the Squab Shop, and uh, it's in Fort Lauderdale. It looks like it's a bunch of vendors, um, so we'll go see what they have, like a farmer's market, I'm not sure. But um, it's in an old uh, drive-in theater, and they still have drive-in movies here. So let's check it out. Um, Which one did you choose? This one, yeah. Oh, the green one. So what's the brown one? The brown one we choose. See, get it. Made 
even really know for myself and my kids. So yeah. Just being able to enjoy with the people. Yeah, you like the people. Come in and enjoy their life. I feel good. Yeah. <laughs> I really feel good like this. Yeah. That's it. So what kind of work do you do? Uh, well, I'm an occupational therapist. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. But I have a website. Okay. Yeah, raw-wisdom.com. Okay. And, uh, you know, I was up in New York for the last three or four years. Oh, yeah? Where in New York? Oneonta. All the way upstate. <laughs> Whoa, you're in the cold environment when it's winter. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty it's cold up there. New York, yeah. I was in New, in New York, New Rochelle. I was in uh, New York City. New York City, yeah. And I was in, Con I have two daughters right now living in Connecticut. Uh -huh. Hartford, Connecticut. I, I, went, I went to school in Trinity College in Hartford. Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, okay. You know, there's a raw food restaurant right yeah, there, too. Plenty. Yeah, they are plenty. Now. Imani and uh, John, uh, good uh, friends. Yeah, they are plenty. As yeah. a matter of fact, everybody in New York who's a raw foodish yeah. knows me. Uh -huh. Because I used to go on 6th and 1st, you know, where uh, Carvin of Dream. No, I don't know the New York City too well. Oh yeah, this, mm -hmm. this, this restaurant, every war food is went there. What's it called? Caravan of Dream. Uh -huh. Caravan of Dream. Oh, I see, I okay, don't know. You can go to the two internet, caravanofdream.com. Yeah. And this guy been there for maybe 25, 30 years now. Uh-huh. And he's always at the seminar right there. I see. The seminar, he, he get, you know, people from all over the world to come and talk there. Uh-huh. And it's... It's, it's macrobiotic though, it's not work. Oh, it's macrobiotic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I was macrobiotic for a couple of years. Oh, yeah? mm -hmm. About 10 years. Oh, good, man. Yeah. yeah but now I'm raw. You, do, you, you grow. If, you're, if you think I'm going to get to the uh, fruitarian, you must think that you're going to get to the breatharian. Oh, uh, I, st I start doing that, but 40 days later I just dropped it. Yeah, you needed something. No it's, no, it's not that. You have family members who don't like to see you doing certain things like this. That's uh -huh. because my daughter, my wife, and my and my son, I just I just quit. Then I, I could have uh, pursued that avenues and not to live around here. Though I have to move to another location. Well, are they um, are they fruitarians? My kids. Huh? Yeah. They... That's all we need. Uh, we don't have a kitchen at all. And when they leave my house, if they choose to change, I can't stop. But well, how old are they now? All of them are still grown. There. They all grown. My last one is 25. Yeah, so they can they're make grown. their choices. That's and, what uh, I told them. When right. you leave my house, it's up to you. But while you're there, let's enjoy it. The, they, all, they all love it, though. They, as a matter of fact, when was here this morning? Oh, yeah? Yes, she's, uh, she went to the airport to pick up her husband who went on a vacation. Now, she... Take from coconut to mangoes to sugar cane. Yeah. To, to, as a matter of fact, I have one grandson. That's her, that's her son. Uh -huh. He eat nothing else but fruit. Wow. Yeah, it just oh, right. it's natural. It's come just to him like this. Right. And when he come here, I can't stop him. He's only less than two years old. See the good vibration they have when they're young like that. Yeah. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I have like two this? kids, but um. They don't. They didn't follow my footsteps. The youngest one's a little better than the older one, but I don't know what's going on with them. They're hey. um, mm -hmm. twenty-one and not and twenty-nine. La ciruela. What's? Yes, What's the difference? These are dried? No, we, I'm going to peel them to become like this. Yeah, and then you just take them home. But why Why no. the dry? No, they You eat them like them. that. No, we sell them. That's for sure. I know, but you eat them like that. You chew on it. Yeah. So why Why do you juice the green ones and chew on the brown it's ones? It's juicier. The green mm. one is juicier than the brown one. And, and do the green ones become brown or is it a different variety? It's a different variety. Okay. So what about the coconuts? Some are green and some are brown. Uh, some are brown. Because are they getting too ripe? No, it's the, the breed. It's the yellow breed. And it's a different breed. variety? Mm -hmm. So do you have a farm where you grow them or do no, you buy them from someone? No, that's the farmer. Oh, that's you're the, guy. the farmer. That's the guy who all the coconuts. Got it. This guy's...